how can you improve the logic building skills in programming if you feel it's dead hard no it really isn't that hard programming when i utter that word a few of you might get nervous because for a lot of you who have enrolled in this course it's a field which you aren't familiar with right you might also have some pre assumed thoughts about it like coding is boring and developers can never use their creativity no not at all the second myth it's a skill for smart people who are amazing at maths again wrong the third one you should have learned to code at high school or college not required the fourth one you might think it is necessary to memorize all the syntaxes to become a good programmer definitely a big no and the fifth one and this is crazy you don't need to communicate with anyone when you are a programmer of course not they all show socialize with other people believe me it's a fun game it's more like puzzle game where you solve a given problem with a lot of enthusiasm my suggestion for you would be to pick a programming of your choice but yeah as here we are dealing with rpa and as most of the rpa tools are built using the dotnet framework i suggest c sharp or vb.net and then try to visit this site which you can see on the screen you can see that all the one of one programs available here are written using c language okay now try to write them using c sharp or vb.net and believe me i myself have practiced all these programs after my graduation it was really fun wait now you might be getting a lot of thoughts around how to set up the environment to execute all these programs if that's something you are confused with no worries maybe you can just see yourself as the person over here but no worries you can use online compilers and get your work done as you can see i've just typed online c sharp compiler in the google and have got a number of sites that provide online compilers and while doing it please don't try to memorize the syntaxes and the code okay because this is something that most of them try to do instead just concentrate on solving the program or the problem because technology is just come and go we should improve our problem solving skills but not memorize the skills please keep that in mind and while trying to write logics or uh, while executing a written code you might come across a few issues or roadblocks and believe me it's completely normal okay that's how you will learn it we as programmers spend an average of 40% of our time on writing the code and around 60% of our time on debugging the issues and sometimes the percentage increases and that's so true don't just discour get discouraged okay try to google the issue and check out the different alternatives available to your issue and customize the solution according to your need as in the image you can see you might say sorry uh, sharat i don't have a friend who can help me out okay but if you are the person in the right side then don't worry you have 
Stack Overflow. Definitely, Stack Overflow is going to become your good friend as you progress as a developer. Good luck, because there are number of queries that people have posted and they have got the answers. You can use them according to your requirement and make some progress. And then, finally, the most important thing, try to solve at least one programming challenge every day for 15 minutes. It will keep you become a good programmer over a period of time. And that's necessary. Keep practicing and that's how you'll be able to develop your programming muscle because that's how I do it. But if you think there's a shortcut, do share it with me because that would be really nice to try. That being told, so programming is not a monster thing that by looking at which you should be afraid of, but try to learn it. Okay, it's it's as simple as solving a Sudoku or some other puzzle, okay, which will give you a lot of energy when you just arrive at the solution. Try practicing it. Thanks.